Okay, someone asked how I'm deep linking this Google Photo uh, to the full resolution deep link, and I decided, sure, why not? I'll share share a quick tutorial video on how I do that. Here I'm on my Google Photos. Here's the photo in question. It is a, a Ricoh GR3 image, uh, JPEG format, 24 megapixels, 6,000 by 4,000, 6,000 wide, 4,000 high. Now, <clears throat> I have that because I have original photo quality enabled on my Google Photos. When I go to share, I can share it to my friends and family network, or I can create a link. Share it to the world. Yeah, why not? Share it to the world. Create a link. There it is. I shared it. I could share it to Facebook if I wanted to. I think anybody can see it. Well, let's see what that looks like. I'm going to open a new tab here. I'm going to paste it. Well, there it is. And I'm actually on my account, so I might be able to see more than maybe you can see. But it's not a deep link, n not the slightest. It's, it's within Google Photos. It's just showing a preview here. It's not a deep link photo. Deep link photo, you could uh, reference it in a forum post with the bulletin board code, the tags, the image tag, if you're familiar with that, IMG. WAC IMG, IMG brackets, then put the deep link, and then put IMG brackets at the end with a forward slash or what we call in development space a WAC, right? A forward slash. But that's not the greatest. I want a deep link. Well, there's this guy. Uh, I've been using this for about five years. He's able to, through the shared link, generate a deep link to that image or an embed code. And let me show you how that works. And oh, by the way, five years I've been using this, it has broken a couple of times in those five years. And I reached out to the guy. He's got a Google, or not a Google, but a YouTube video on how, you know, how it works or whatnot. You might want to watch that. But I reached out to him in this contact, and he responded and fixed it. So pretty cool, I think. So here I am back to the original my account. Here's the photo on Google Photos. I'm going to go back up to share. These are the steps. Share, create link, copy that link, go over to the embed Google Photos page, paste that shared link here, click I'm not a robot, and generate embed code. Now, there it is, your deep link and your HTML code. Let me copy the deep link and show you something here, though, that is a little quirk. I'm not sure why it defaults to a smaller resolution width. I'm going to paste it there. Look at this URL now and look at the very end, W2400. The width is not 2400 in this photo. The width is 6000. But let me just go ahead and enter and show you. There is a deep link photo. You're not within any frames of Google Photos, nothing, uh, you know, nothing else resolving on this page. This is just a photo that Google Chrome browser is resolving. Period. Now, it is 2400 though. You see the plus? That's a magnification. It's signifying the browser says, hey, there is a, a larger original version that you can view. Left click and there it is. Left click left click, left click, left click. Well, that's not the full res. No problem. Let me open up a new tab, control V, and let's put in 6,000 and hit enter. And there you have it. Plus, minus, plus, minus. So now if you want to share your full resolution in any type of discussion or forum to talk about it, ask questions about it, whatnot, this is how I do it. I pay for Google storage. Of course, there's free. What is it, 20 gig? I don't know what it is today. Uh, but I've subscribed to their service. I'm an Android. I'm a Google fan. Uh, you know, you got your iOS guys and you've got your your Android Google guys and I'm an Android guy I'm a Google guy and you know my life uh, gravitates to Google so there you go I hope that's helpful have a good day all bye